Hello, today we will see DGIM algorithm stands for Datar Geonis Indic and Motwani algorithm. So DGIM algorithm is used for counting the number of ones in given data stream. The algorithm uses O log base to N bits to represent a window of N bits. Basically, DGIM algorithm is used to estimate the number of ones given in a long data stream. Now, DGIM algorithm estimates the number of ones with a estimate error of 50%. It will not give an error more than 50%, but an, there is an estimate of error of 50%. Each bit that arrives in the data stream has a timestamp. The bit which arrives first will have timestamp 1, the second bit will have timestamp 2 and so on. The window is divided into buckets consisting of size 1 and so there are various rules in DGIM to form buckets. Let's see the rule. So the, all the buckets formed in DGIM algorithm are of size of power of 2. That means the first bucket formed will be of size 2 to the power 0. Then it will be of bucket, next bucket will be of size 2 to the power 1, next bucket will be of size 2 to the power 2 and the next bucket would be of size 2 to the power 3. So in short we will have buckets of size 1, 2, 4 and 8. The right side of the bucket should always start with a 1. Let's take an example. So this, let's take this example of data stream. The size of this bucket is 4. Why I am saying the size of bucket is 4? Because we have 4 ones in this bucket. The right side of each bucket should always be a 1. So this is a bucket of size 4 and as we can see the right side of the bucket is a 1. Every bucket should have at least one one in the bucket. For each bucket, we count the number of ones, not the number of zeros. So every bucket should have at least one one inside it. The size of buckets always increase as we move from left to right. So the size of leftmost bucket would be the smallest and the size of rightmost bucket would be the largest. So as we move from left to right, the size of the buckets should always increase. In DGIM, we cannot have more than two buckets of same size. For a given particular size, we can have one bucket or two buckets. We cannot have two more than two buckets of same size. Let's understand it with an example. Okay, so this is the given data stream. We have divided this given data stream into buckets. So as we just discussed, we can have buckets of size one, two, 4 and 8. And how do we count the size of bucket? The number of ones inside the bucket is equal to size of the bucket. So the size of this bucket is 1. Why? Because we have one single one inside this bucket. The size of this bucket is also 1. The size of this bucket is 2 because we have two ones in this bucket. The size of this bucket is 4 because we have four ones inside this bucket and so on. So as we just discussed, we can have either one or two buckets of same size. So look here, I have two buckets of size one, I have one bucket of size two and I have two buckets of size four. I have buckets of size one or two buckets of same size. We cannot have three buckets of same size. What do we mean is we, we can have one bucket of size four, we can have two buckets of size four, but we cannot have three buckets of size four. And as we just discussed, the size of the buckets increases as we move from left to right. See, the size of leftmost bucket is one, then one more bucket of size 1, then bucket of size 2, the bucket of size 4, size 4 and the last bucket of size 8. As you can see, when we move from left to right, the size of bucket is increasing. It should always be in increasing order. Let's try to understand it with an example. So this is a given input stream 10, 10, double 1, triple 0 and so on. The size of input stream is 24. That means we have 24 bits in this input stream. We have to divide this input stream into buckets. So 
look here i have made first bucket of size 2 to the power 2 the size of this bucket is 4 2 to the power 2 why because we have four ones inside this bucket i have made one more bucket of size 4 which is allowed i can have two buckets of same size i have made one bucket of size 2 one more bucket of size 2 and one bucket of size 1 so i have two buckets i have two buckets of size 4 i have two buckets of size 2 and i have one bucket of size 1 so this is how i have divided this given input stream into buckets we can check all the rules the my size of buckets are 2 to the power n 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 and so on the size of buckets are increasing as we move from left to right and the buckets we cannot have two three buckets of same size let's take one more example again this is one given input stream this is one given input stream i'm going to divide this input stream into buckets so this is the first bucket of size eight i've started from here and i have included first eight ones in this bucket this one this one these two ones these two ones and these two ones so from starting till here i have one bucket this bucket ha is of size eight so this bucket has eight ones this is one bucket of size eight let's see next next i have made one more bucket of size four look here starting from here i have made one more bucket of size four then i have made one bucket of size two one more bucket of size 2 and one bucket of size 1. So I have one bucket of size 1, two buckets of size 2, one bucket of size 4 and one bucket of size 8. So this is my given input stream which I have divided into buckets. So now what happens if one more input comes of size 1? okay sorry there is one more bucket of size one so this is my current scenario right now one bucket of size eight one bucket of size four two buckets of size two and two buckets of size one so now what will happen if one more input stream of one comes if an input st coming stream is zero we don't consider it but if one more stream comes which is a one I will put single one into one bucket so if I do this now in this case I'm having three buckets of size one which is not allowed so what is the solution if we get three buckets of same size then we start merging I am because I'm having three buckets of size one which is not allowed I will start merging I will merge these two buckets of size one and make them one single bucket of size two what have I done? I have merged these two buckets of size 1 and created one bucket of size 2. Now, now again, I will get a problem. The problem is that now I am having three buckets of size 2, which is again not allowed. So for this, what will we do? Again, merge. I am going to merge these two buckets of size 2 and make a new bucket of size 4 as you can see we have one new bucket of size 4 now it is perfectly all right I have one bucket of size 1 I have one bucket of size 2 I have two buckets of size 4 and I have one bucket of size 8 so to summarize in DGIM algorithm we have we divide the input stream into buckets the buckets are of size 2 to the power n that means we can have bucket of size 2 sorry sorry a bucket of size 1 size 2 size 4 and size 8 and so on each size of bucket we can have either one bucket of one size or two buckets of one size we cannot have three buckets of same size if such a scenario occurs then what do we do we merge the buckets i hope we are clear with how to solve problems of DGIM. Thank you.